So then top of back with another video. I'm Strange Wayne. He is Nate. Today we are doing our action movie Oscars. <laughs> He's going to read off the categories, and then we'll get right into it. And the rules. We do have one rule. Yes. Well, oh, kind of. Uh, more of a personal rule. Sort of, yeah. All right, so our categories are going to be cinematography, best stunt, best cinematography, best screenplay, best director, best actress, best actor, and, of course, best picture. How we do this is these are our all-time Oscars. So every action movie that has ever existed is eligible for nomination we each get three nominations per category uh we try not to use the same movie more than twice for the whole list but sometimes it's just that deserving so it is what it is uh the only real rule is that if we have one movie in common amongst our nominations then that movie automatically wins we do not know what each other's nominations are uh, if we have two in common, then it's automatically narrowed down to those two, and we'll either agree on something or play rock, paper, scissors for it. So He botched it. The first category is best choreography. He says cinematography twice. Oh, my bad. I saw a C. So, best choreography, I have The Raid, John Wick 3, and because he thinks it's one movie, I think it's one movie, Kill Bill. Okay. So, that will be volume one and two. Yeah. So, another rule, it won't apply here, but another rule that I just want to throw out there. If we have no movies in common, oh, yeah. then we each eliminate one of our own. We each eliminate one off of each other, and then we discuss the final two and see if we agree, and then we play rock, paper, scissors. Uh, but this one, that won't happen one because we have two in common, because my nominations... It's not great, right, okay. All right. Well, and so this is where I was telling you before the video, I kind of made some decisions based off of what I thought you would do because I well, you haven't seen the raid, there. have you? And I haven't seen the raid, okay. but I knew that you would nominate the raid, so I was like, I don't need to worry about it because it's going to be on there and it's still going to get the love it deserves. Uh, but it's not going to win this category because my nominations were Ip Man, which you haven't, haven't seen. seen. It works out. Yeah, uh, John Wick Chapter Three. And Kill Bill, which I also just counted as one movie for my list. I think the fighting gets worse than Kill Bill. I think that there's more it's of toned it. toned down. I, I think there's more of it in John Wick. And it's like consistently phenomenal yes. in John Wick. And, and Chapter 3 has the best choreography out of all four of them. So It's so fucking different. Yeah. From the knife fights, sword fights, gun fights, fist fights. Horse fights. Horse fights. That for me personally, since it is down to Kill Bill and John Wick Chapter Three, yeah, I'm gonna say John Wick Chapter Three has the best choreography in all of action movie history, and it wins the Oscar. And I'm gonna agree with you. Easy as that. Yep. Next, I'm gonna let you start off. Do a little flippy floppy here. Best stunt. What all you right. Got? Uh, so this one was kind of tough for me because it's like, what's the toughest one? What yes. do I count as a stunt? You know, and it's like, cause a lot of things, like I looked at a lot of uh, like lists online. And a lot of people just count really good choreography as a stunt. I'm like, that's not a stunt. A stunt is like, impress me, you yeah. know? So, uh... What fog I couldn't do. Yeah, I have two two on here that I really, really love, and another one that I was like, I'll throw it out there, because it did blow my mind the first time I saw it. Um, But I've really tried very hard to steer away from superhero movies with my list. I ended up with... with Two nominations from Super. That's a movies, all, that's a that's an Oscar video all of itself. It really is, but I needed to fill it, and I knew that neither of them would probably win. So I was like, I wasn't comfortable nominating something else. So uh, my nominations for best stunt are Tom Cruise climbs the Burj Khalif in Mission Impossible Four. Uh, you will not have this one, uh, but it's uh, downhill skiing. Off of a mountain into parachuting from double O. Good, good day, die hard. No, no, no. What is it? Uh, oh fuck. I'm, it's a fucking ah uh, something with tomorrow in it, right? Uh, no. Golden Eye. No, it is a James oh. Bond movie. It's the one with Pierce Brosnan, right? It's this there's a lot of them with Pierce Brosnan, but yes, it does have Pierce Brosnan. It's the Spy Who Loved Me. Okay, I want to have that. Um, and then my kind of like throwaway one, just because it is very actiony, I would consider it an action movie. Uh, is 
uh, the one where they flipped a whole freaking tractor trailer in the Dark Knight. For me, I went with, I had to start off with the goat of the stunt, Jackie Chan. The Catch Me Carter at the end of Rush Hour. See, I thought about, I really, I wanted to put a Jackie Chan on here, but I couldn't, I just couldn't decide. Oh, well, I got one for you, buddy. Thanks. I have, I, we've, funny enough, we both have glass stunts in ours. Who am I? Jackie Chan sliding down a glass building. Mm -hmm. He did by himself. I'm pretty sure he broke his wrist or some shit. Oh, he like, I, I watched a video on this and I hadn't seen the movie. So he, I, fucked I, himself I think it, he like almost snapped his spine in half and like fractured his pelvis. Yeah, yeah. Like insane stuff. But we do have a winner because I'm sticking with the glass. Mission Impossible 4 Ghost Protocol is a jaw dropping scene. Yeah. Insane. When you see it outside the film, and when you see it inside the film, it's just even more lunacy, crazy. And Tom Cruise is a maniac, and he's he loves doing shit like nuts. that. He's bananas. So, another easy winner. Ghost Protocol wins for best stunt. Next, we have cinematography. And this one was super easy because Mad Max 3 Road is beautiful. Had to nominate it. The Matrix... Has a without the cinematography working so well for that film, yeah. You know, I haven't seen it in a while, it's still in my memory. I still know it those grays, blacks, greens, and the tones they use of all those in between just make that movie what it is mm -hmm. and it really gives it a character and a personality and a vibe, yeah. So, cinematography is very important for that film. And lastly, John Wick 4. It is, I like the first John Wick, but because of our two movie per rule thing. I thought this was the second prettiest job. <laughs> yeah. Um, so not my winner. Yeah. Interesting. Um, because the two the your, the two movie roles screwed John Wick out of a chance here. Um, <clears throat> so my nominations, uh, I had The Matrix written down, but I was like, I bet he's going to put The Matrix. So I just picked something else. Uh, so my first nomination is Dread. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Love that movie. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is. Wonderfully shot. Excellent. Excellent. That was my uh, fourth. My next nomination was John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, because I think that is also the prettiest John Wick movie. Uh, but, of course... No, I think John Wick, the first one is. Of course I nominated Mad Max Fury Road. It's absolutely yeah. incredible. It's beautiful. The only time Orange has ever looked good. Yeah, for sure. So that's our winner, because we had it in common. Yeah. And... <clears throat> Screenplay, what do you got nominated, dude? So for screenplay, I have The Matrix, I have Kill Bill, and I have Die Hard. Fuck, dude, Die Hard is so good. <laughs> How did I forget about Die Hard? <laughs> Fuck. Um, I, I'm looking at it now, I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> because I love action movies. Action movies are my shit. Shane Black Predator, nominated. Shane Black, Lethal Weapon nominated, and Derek Kolaus Kostan for John Wick. Okay. So well, we have none in common. We have none in common. So I'm going to eliminate... <clears throat> Fuck. Because I feel like John Wick is such a perfect action movie. It's simple, straight to the point. Mm-hmm. But I love Shane Black's writing in both Predator and Lethal Weapon. Hmm. But I'm going to eliminate Lethal Weapon off of mine because the one-liners in Predator... Because it's not a good script. ...is the greatest it's thing ever. not a good script. Opinions are opinions. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that because when we get to the eliminate one off of each other's, I was going to knock out Lethal Weapon and... You have freed me up to, to be a happy man. Uh, I'm going to knock off the Matrix off of mine. I, I put it on here. Points for creativity. The, what, what, I don't, I'm assuming the, the, um, Wachowski, did Wachowski write it? I, I was lazy. I didn't look up the writers. Probably. <laughs> um, yeah, just so inventive. Coming up with all this new stuff and new phrases and, like, new words for things. Uh, I gave him a lot of credit. Some of the acting in the Matrix by a lot of the side characters isn't stellar which shouldn't hurt the screenplay but it kind of does when you watch the movie so i'm going to knock the matrix off of mine 
crazy enough, I'm knocking Tarantino off of a Best Screenplay nomination. Hmm. Kill Bill, Hit the Bricks. Cool. I don't like you. If you pick, I'm, I know what you're going to pick, and I'm just saying this now, I don't like you. It's what is good about the script. He throws a knife at a guy and says, stick around. That's so... It is it's prime funny. It's 80s action. It's funny. The greatest it's not good. In movie history. Yeah, the Predator is out of here. There's another dude. Out of here. Get it's so out fucking of here. good. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's entertaining. It's fun. It doesn't deserve a best screenplay nomination. So I'll think about that. Yeah. Well, we got John Wick and Die Hard. And you got Strange Wang sitting next to a stool guts. However, he was smart this one time because Die Hard is the greatest three-act script of all time. I think Die Hard should win. Uh, I absolutely love John Wick. I think that movie is absolutely incredible. Top to bottom, it does have a very good script, but uh, there's lots of gaps in dialogue. And I understand that you still have to write scenes and like other things like that yeah. the screenplays and all that. But if we're being real, when we're talking screenplays, we're looking at dialogue and stuff like that. So, uh, I love John Wick, but Die Hard, top to bottom, uh, is funny, it's smart, it is a wonderfully written script, and so I'm going to pick my own movie as well and give it a Die Hard. If I wouldn't have forgot about it, it would have automatically won. Yeah. Somehow. I did this too fast. Things slip through the cracks, man. I love action movies. I'm sure that something's going to pop up on your one of yours where I'm going to be like, ah, I didn't think about that. Um, you started the screenplays, correct? I did. All right, for the best director, I have John Carpenter in Big Trouble Little China. <laughs> what? How he directed? I knew. I'm Jack laughing. Jack Burton. I knew that movie. You knew you'd find a way to put Big Trouble How Little China. How he directed Jack Burton to be the main protagonist, and you don't think but that's he's a, a side character? Thing? Like he didn't write it that way. Yeah, but him directing it and making okay. sure camera angles, stuff like that. Sure. Because the difference between him, anyways. <laughs> no, I'm not mad about it. It's just James Cameron, T2, Richard Donner for Lethal Weapon. Oh, so predictable for yeah. me. Well, thank God that I we don't have to even give Lethal Weapon a chance. Bruh, what's your issue with fucking Lethal Weapon? It's not a good. If I didn't movie. love this movie so much. It's fun. You would not hate it. And that's I not feel like true. you hate this movie. That's I don't hate. It. I hate the third act of that movie, but I'm not. But it's still really cheesy, and like uh, Mel Gibson, it, he does too much. He overacts, and it takes away from the movie. It really, and I think that's an honest and fair criticism. Uh, anyways, my nominations for best director were Stahelski for John Wick One, uh, McTiernan for Die Hard, and James Cameron for Terminator Two. T two seen the first yeah. time on it's, my list. It's too good. It's too good. All right, next up we have best actress, um, and I snuck another. Well, I don't know if it's really snuck. I think you could consider I, I put an actress from a movie on here that it has so many different genres that I didn't really want to straight out say it was an action movie, but there's so much action in it, and she does so much action in it that I went for it, and I knew it wasn't going to matter because she's probably not yours. So my nominations for Best Actress are Sigourney Weaver for Aliens, uh, Amber Midthunder for Prey, and Michelle Yeoh for Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Fucking wow. Yeah, I thought this was going to be the hardest category. Three for three. I thought no. I thought yeah. we were both going to have three for three. Yeah. The prey choice is very nice. I did not put it on my list. Hmm. I think these are the like. There's four obviously when you think of female action heroes or just action in general that you go off of. Yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot put Terminator Two on my list fifteen times. Sarah Connor did not make a cut, but Uma Thurman did for Kill Bill, Charlie Theron did for Mad Max Fury Road, and Sigourney Reaper did for Aliens. Yeah. Honestly, I thought Charlie Theron was going to win this. Surprised it didn't. Yeah, well, it's like... So, I think it is fair... That movie is titled Mad Max, for sure. I think it is very fair to say that's Furiosa's movie. Yeah, one thousand percent. Like, it not... And we talked about this a couple weeks ago. Not unlike Big Trouble Little China... Mad Max is the sidekick in that movie. Yeah. And barely that. He's almost more like a side character. Um, but 
uh, because they split it so much, I, that's why I left her off of mine. Um, but it doesn't matter because I think Order Sigourney Weaver yeah. should win, and she did. See, if I did it my way, I thought because of how much you love Fury Road, I thought Charlize Theron was going to win. If I did it my way, Uma Thurman would have won. Yeah, that's fair. I had her on the list and I took her off because the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know. I definitely, she's not bad in that movie at all, but I, I think that these, the three that I put down are ultimately better performances than hers. Yeah. Sigourney Reaver does have a different, it has, it has elements to it. Yeah. Which is why it was also on mine. But if we do an actress, we gotta do actor, and... <laughs> first nomination for, We might have none in common. First nomination for best actor is... Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator. Did you nominate Arnold three times? Yes, I did. Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2 and Arnold Schwarzenegger in True Lies. Wait, what was the first one? Predator, Terminator uh, 2, True Lies. Yeah, which are none of them. Nominated. None of them which are good performances. Action movie He's performances. So boring. Oh my Action god. Action movie performances. Yeah, okay. And so here's three good action movie performances. Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible 4. Bruce Willis in Die Hard. And this is the one where it's like, I got stuck for a minute. Because I was like, oh my god. There is actually no real good performance in an action movie. And now that I'm thinking about it, I had a perfect opportunity that I let slip through my fingers. And I technically haven't said my third one yet, so I could do it. Um, but I'm going to stick with my list because I think it'll piss you off a little bit. Uh, because my number thir three is Robert Downey Jr. in Iron Man. What's your other one? Fucking Harrison Ford, Air Force One. The Fugitive? No. There's a couple he could have put the on. The Fugitive is not an action movie. Anyways. Um, I'm going to go ahead and knock off True Lies for mine. What's your knocking off of yours? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> What do you got left? I have Bruce Willis and Die Hard and Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible 4. Ghost Protocol, I'm knocking that off. Okay. I have Predator and T2. Okay, I'm going to knock out T2. Wow. It's not... What does he fucking do? Exactly what the fuck he's what supposed to do. What does he do? do? It's not... It's not... I'm not... Exactly he does, what yes, the fuck he's yes, supposed to do. Yes, that's it. He does exactly what he's supposed to do. It is not incredible. It is not over-the-top good. He's perfect for that role because of his massive imposing size and his interesting voice. It's not a good actor. Well, lucky for you, I have a crystal ball. I also have a, a genie hat or whatever that shit's called over there. You do? A turban? I don't really know what you call uh, it's that. It's got a thing. It's got a... Yeah. A feather? feather yeah. And a fake jewel. Mm. And this is going one of two ways. We can go ahead and play rock, paper, scissors, or we can argue for 72 minutes. And still have the rest of the video to do. So, like, you genuinely think that Arnold Schwarzenegger is better in Predator than Bruce Willis is in Die Hard from a pure acting standpoint? Action movie acting standpoint, yes. Bias. You suck Arnold's <laughs> dick, why don't you? My God, dude, you're ridiculous. That's an old dick. Rock, <laughs> so shoot. Paper wins. Predator. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Predator. Dutch gets a fat dub. And the last one you get, so. Um, yeah, so my three nominations for Best Picture. Um, and I feel very strongly about these, personally. Uh, number one, John Wick. I went with the first one. Uh, it started it. I think they're, they're all so close for me, personally. But John Wick 1, uh, Terminator 2, I mean... Top to bottom action movie. Has nothing to do with Arnold being a good actor, but it's a great movie. Uh, and then, just because I genuinely think it's better than almost all the other movies on these lists, I put Dread. That's fair. It's an incredible movie. It's so good. I think, Especially from an action standpoint. We did basically the same thing. Yeah. We put the best action franchise of all time, a movie from that on our list. We put the best action movie of all time on our list. And then we put a personal favorite. Yeah. For me... My personal favorite was Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee. Hmm. He's an ass-kicking motherfucker. 
kung fu movies, huge part of the action culture. I wanted to show love to, obviously that being the biggest one, Bruce Lee being an incredible action hero, had to pop off on my list somewhere. But I went with John Wick 3, because I do think it's the best John Wick film, period. And T2, T2 wins the best picture for this action movie of all time. Let us know in the comment section down below. Where we screwed up, movies we missed, categories, stuff like that. I can tell you where we screwed up. <laughs> Scroll back up, hit the like button, get better up here, so this bitch, and subscribe. It's not a game, sir.